it is the, uh, the topic is blessing for those who are obedient we all remember this uh, story or from the bible of these people god's chosen people who were, who were in egypt in problems and they called upon the name of the lord and god brought them out of egypt and then on the way they were so disobedient and the, as it goes past for 40 years they were traveling in the wilderness so that one generation has passed away in the second generation that entered into Canaan so before entering Canaan God spoke to Moses uh, telling them about the blessings to tell the children to be obedient and so god renews his blessings or the law that was read before this is the second time when he shares this blessing he tells this generation the blessing was read out to the new generation while moses brought people out of egypt on the way people were disobedient and god destroyed the the older people who came out of egypt so while moses was still alive god spoke through moses and god reminded his people of his law and every time you see people are changing the old generation are passing away amen and new generation are coming people are changing but god god's word is the same his word is not changing Uh, the bible tells us yesterday uh, today and forever world may change but jesus never god's word never changes it's still it is there his command is there he has the, the tried many ways to have his communication with you and i to save us from that uh, path of sin or to uh, help us to be obedient to his word So why why do God want us to be obedient to his word? If we are obedient, he can bless us. Or the blessing is there, we can uh, have that blessing in our life. Amen. Uh we read in Samuel it says obedient is better than sacrifice. No matter how hard we work, but if you are not obedient, it's it is not worth working. Amen. So we don't have to struggle. you don't have to work hard but be obedient so here here we see the blessing that uh, god has given and it's just a simple thing to do is to be obedient many times we do so many things but we are not obedient and then we ask ourselves why i am not blessed i am doing so many things in church i am there before time i always there in this choir team practicing or doing this cell group and all other works i am doing but why i am not blessed so here sometimes we we get uh, when we are so discouraged we see things that we are doing but the blessing is not there we don't receive the blessing so there is one thing uh, this evening we got to be obedient the church you are going to the church has some paths to follow there are some rules to be followed sometimes you want to overcome those rules and do our way or our part or our way of working so that is not line up with god's command no we have a pastor we have a people who look after this work as in those days god appointed uh, here in this uh, book god appointed moses and then he had certain people under him which was appointed by moses to look after the work but here you see these people were so disobedient so god again told moses to remind this new generation about the obedience and so they may receive that blessing when they enter into that new land into canaan why god was reminding them because god loves you and me he wants us to have that relationship with what we what he had with uh, uh, adam in the beginning he wants to maintain that relationship 
That's why every time he's reminding. But here we see people who are so disobedient to God that God destroyed that generation. None of them, uh, only two, apart from two of them, none of them entered. Only two of them. There are many people who came out of Egypt, but only two of them entered into Canaan. Today we see the life that we are traveling, the journey that we are making. Are we going to enter that Canaan land of, or the new heaven and earth that is going to be prepared, a place that Jesus is preparing for you and me? Are we going to enter that place? So here Moses gives this command in, uh, uh, to this new generation in uh, Deuteronomy. Chapter 28, if you read through, it's a blessing for obedience. If you fully obey the Lord, your God, and carefully follow his commands, I give you today, the Lord your God will set you high above all nations on earth. All, those, all these blessings will come upon you, accompany you with, if, accompany you if you obey the Lord your God. Amen? If you obey your Lord your God. So this word is not just not for those people, it, it is for you and I today. We still have to be obedient to the word of God. Though it comes to the pastor or a leader or cell group leader, whoever he is. He's not bringing his own words, but he's reading what God has given. He's just reminding us to do so. You will be blessed in the city, blessed in the country. The fruit of your womb will be blessed and the crops of your land and the young of your livestock. See, these are the blessings. If you are a farmer, your food, fruits will be blessed. Whatever you will plant, you will reap of it. And if, if you go further down, the Lord will grant the, uh, that the enemies who raise up against you will be defeated before you. They will come at you from one direction, and but feel one direction, but flee from here in seven directions. You know? The Lord will send a blessing on your burns and on your everything you put on your hand too. The Lord your God will bless you in the land he is giving you. <clears throat> so the land that we are living in today, he has blessed us. He'll ble he has blessed this land. And on everything that you put your hand upon will be blessed. It is so simple thing God has given us, but yet... We do not walk according to it. Many times I have failed. Many times even myself I have failed. Because I was not obedient. So God is reminding us every day to be obedient to his word. And then we'll receive all these blessings. See the enemies. We have the enemies who will be coming from all sides to attack us. If they come from one direction, they'll run from every direction because the Lord's hand is upon you. His blessing is there. So we don't have to be afraid of anything. We don't have to be scared of anything. We just have to remember his words, what he has given us. So here I'm just encouraging you this evening that we all should be obedient to his command. I mean, the, even if, if you are obedient, the Lord will open heavens, and, uh, heavens, the storehouse of his bounty and send rain on your land in the season to bless all your work. Here we see we need rain as well. And God has the power to send rain. If God doesn't want to rain in this area, it won't rain. No matter what we do. It is God's blessing. So the heaven will be open and it will, it will rain. And we are blessed. God is blessing us with rain and sunshine. So if you are a farmer or wherever we, wherever we are, we need rain and sunshine. 
No matter we work in the office, we work in the farm, you're a carpenter or whatever, whatever work you are doing. These two things we really need it for our daily life. If you don't have rain, there'll be dust everywhere. You cannot walk. You'll have running nose just like me. <laughs> Because I cannot take too much dust. So, yeah, we need rain. And if it's, there's a lot of rain, what will happen? We'll just feel cold. Anywhere we'll go, we'll need thicker jacket than this. But it is the blessing of the Lord that he has given everything according to what we need. So all we have to do is to be obedient to his word, yeah, to his command. So if we are obedient to his command, we are the one, we are the chosen ones. There are plenty of people who are called, but few are chosen. And the obedient people are being chosen to enter into the kingdom. Just like uh, we see when uh, those 12 spies were sent out to see that land of Canaan, but only two entered into it. So there are many will be called, but are you the chosen one to enter? Are you that person who, are, who is obedient? Obedient to the word of God, obedient to his command. And uh, this, is, this is the time when the Old Testament was written and it was all given. Let's see the New Testament, what does it say in Matthew 22? It's talking about the command. Matthew chapter 2, 22 verse 36. The greatest commandment. Here it says, Teacher, which is the greatest command in the law? That means the person who's asking this question is going back to the Old Testament about the law that was given. So Jesus replied, Love your Lord, your God, with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Comes back to love again. We have to love. To be obedient, to be blessed, we have to love each and every one. We have to love our God with all our heart. We have to love our soul, our body. You know? This is the first and the greatest command that we ought to follow. If you follow these blessings will flow in our lives. Many times we see Uh, we ask God to bless us through money. Money was made afterward. But God's blessing is from the beginning. God has many ways to bless us. Not only money, but he has different ways to bless us. <clears throat> He'll bless us in our body. He'll give us wisdom. He'll give us knowledge. If we are obedient, he'll give us a way to earn this money. He'll make a way that we don't have to run after the money, but the money is going to run after us. This is something I learned from one of the pastors. And all these years, I've been trying to follow that way. Not to run after the money or thinking how I'm going to earn money. All these days, I'm with, I know one thing. Whenever I have a need, I'll have money. And God has never failed me. When I see back in my life, I've got two or four children. I've educated them and two of them are married. And when I see the amount of money that I have spent and the income that I have got, it doesn't match. The expenditure is more, the income is less. But still yet, I've met all the needs. Because God blessed me. I've learned one thing, that I don't have to run after the money. At times people used to tell me that, yeah, you are rich. I used to tell them, yes, my father is very rich and I'm a rich person too. 
When I'm in need, he supplies my need. So he blesses me. He gives me that wisdom. He gives me that knowledge. And uh, I have kept on moving. So we have to follow his command, be obedient, and love one another with our heart. Amen. And the second is, like it, love your neighbor as yourself. We have to love our neighbor as ourselves. So who's our neighbor? This one question, who's our neighbor? When I was in primary school, only thing I knew, the neighbor is the person who lives beside my house. That's the neighbor I knew. The, the person who's next to my house, the next house to my house is my neighbor. But when time went on, I realized every time that any person who's next to me is my neighbor. If I'm in church, anybody is beside me, he's my neighbor. If I'm on the street, anybody is walking beside me, he's my neighbor. The person next to you is your neighbor. So we got to love anybody who is beside us. And people we meet, no matter what they do to us, but we got to love them. We got to show them our love. That is a blessing. God has blessed us with that uh, part or that blessing uh, he has given us to love others. That's the blessing of the Lord. We cannot buy that. It is God given. So whatever is given from God, that's the blessing that we have received. It's not only money, it's not only car or houses or things like that. There are many things that uh, we don't think about, but God has blessed us in that way. But here, here when we read in uh, Deuteronomy, there are some of the things that is written there that God is going to bless through the, uh, in those areas. But there are many more things that, uh, which God is blessing us through. So yeah, if we are obedient to his command, the blessing will just follow. So these are some of the blessings that we can rely on. And if we keep on praying, God is going to bless us more and more. And we are going to continue to serve him, to worship him and praise him with all our heart. Amen. So this is a small message that I'm going to leave you with this evening. I believe you're going to read this, uh, continue to read, you'll be more blessed. You'll be blessed by God. Amen.